The tools of the table are the tools of business. Join me today for a brief etiquette lesson with our beautiful table display. I'm Gloria Starr, international business coach, teaching etiquette classes around the world. As you look at the table, you will know that the layout of the cutlery and the items on your table indicate exactly what you're going to have to eat. So here we begin by taking our napkin, ring off, setting it down, opening the napkin up to halfway. This napkin size is ideal for a luncheon where a much larger napkin, of course, is going to be for a dinner event. Set the napkin on your lap with the folded part at your tummy. When you go to use your napkin, you're going to be using it like this, not like this, and never tucked into your dress shirt, gentlemen. So, we look at the cutlery and we know what we're going to have based on the items. So over on our left, we have the bread and butter plate, and on our right, we have our drinks, beverages, and glasses. So our liquid items are on our right and our bread is on the left. As you look at the items, you're going to discover exactly the way things are laid out. So initially we have a charger alongside our tablecloth and everything is placed approximately one inch from the table. And then we have our dinner plate and then a small salad plate. In Europe, you may not know, but salad is served after the entree, where in America the salad is served prior to the entree. I do recommend that you learn the European dining skills. And an idea for that would be that the fork is always held in the left hand. And then the knife is cut and held this way, so it's one cut up to the mouth. Cutlery back down while you chew with, of course, your lips closed, and another bite. If you're resting, you're going to set the cutlery down in an open position so the wait staff will know that you're not finished as of yet. When you are finished, the cutlery is put in a closed position. At any fancy meal, you will find cutlery above your plate, and that may come as a surprise to you, but those items are going to be for your dessert. So those are left to the very last possible moment. When you are looking at your glasses, anything with a stem on it is going to be considered a cool beverage, so this might be appropriate for a champagne cocktail. And this larger glass here could be a Pinot Noir or a nice white wine, and it's always held here. You do not need to clink glasses when you make a toast. In fact, you may not know that if you are the one being toasted to, you never drink to your own toast. So when toasting, you raise the glass, look at everyone, and smile, and then you would drink to that toast. Never take your silverware and clink your glasses. It's going to be quite rude. Try to pace yourself so that you are finished each course at about the same time everyone else is. If you look around the table and see that people have not finished yet, and you're the only one still eating from that course, you would want to immediately stop, place your cutlery in a 612 or 410 position to indicate that you are also finished. Your wait staff will come and bring your items for each course, serving you from your left. They will then remove your items when you have finished that course by removing them from the right. Your job when the wait staff is working around you is to remain perfectly still. If you try to help them out and you're moving a little bit, they don't know where you're going to move. So the chances of an accident are quite high. Should you have a problem with the spill, you can take your napkin and place it down on the spill. Do not dab like this but just gently. In other words, you're not drawing any attention to anything that has gone wrong. Should you drop your napkin, it is impossible to pick it up without being seen. So you would leave it there and request another napkin. You'll notice I have a fancy little coffee cup here. I'm happy to say that this exquisite 24 karat china cup and saucer came from Saudi when I was working at King Abdullah's Palace. I had the pleasure of purchasing some lovely things in the stores in Saudi and the Middle East. I'm Gloria Starr, International Etiquette Coach, and it's been my delight to train and coach for 25 years around the world. I'm the author of nine books, 
and I'm very pleased to welcome you to my website, GloriaStar.com, and yes, star has two R's.